hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in this last session the dotnet myu series we learn how we can set up you know app dot setting file so that whatever configuration things we store in app dot setting and we can get it from our uh, our code code base file okay so that also done so in this series in this session actually we learn how we can you know uh, set up how we can read actually different different environment app setting and get it those configuration stuff in our uh, in our code base file okay so let me get it go to let me create another file of that app start settings which is okay let me stop first and let me copy this guy and just add a new file okay and uh, let me find that json and change it to app dot setting dot dash development okay so get to develop and okay and just add it and remove that all the default configuration okay put it to our one okay so whatever we done suppose for example uh for example this okay so for the demonstration perspective i just show you okay uh, how we can read that data right so from that here as well so just copy whatever its old configuration just copy to here okay and now add it to test to it is development okay development development file development config okay so that we can make sure okay we are getting the data from development or we are getting for app setting okay so that's it done on oh, okay one more thing we have to do which is also i described to add app dot setting so that is important so go to file a uh, property and resource you have to look into resource content resource not resource embedded resource okay and also you have to change to this copy to if never or if always okay this is done and then move it to my dot program file okay so here need to put some logic okay so last session we learn okay directly how we can get it so this logic we have to implement okay so how we can do that just create a uh, one you know string property like uh, app setting file app setting file okay and just pass it to default one what is the default one this is our default one this is our default config okay and then change it to here okay default config getting over here once uh you know that that could be a logic over here like see uh for example at hash if okay and here that all the you know environment you, you can get like suppose for example as of now i have two things like debug and release okay so get the debug okay so find the debug so this is debug okay and just and if and if okay and here we can put that logic okay so what is the logics so if debug or we can say it is a development environment correct development or you can just create an environment also here like go to configuration click here new you can just put is to do develop development develop development underscore debug okay so debug and then you can just create a debug and just create okay okay 
and just close it okay see when you choose over here then you create so you will get the debug okay so once save definitely you will get debug as well so let me check if hash if okay then debug see we got that development debug and just try to end also and this guy okay so for example this normal debug will use this guy okay we'll use this guy we'll use this guy but once other environment for example i create a development and when i create a production so that time what i will i will set over here i will just copy but this time i will change to our whatever whatever uh, file we have to read actually development config setting so just change it to development config setting that's it and after that this is a common code because we just want to pass it over here and we can get it over that data okay so let me let me show you one by one like for example uh, the main config i put it to it is uh, for example debug debug mode okay debug mode environment environment and uh, this is environment by from and and okay, so this is fine and then this is development okay so let me debug over here so that we can get it here and then check it okay which one we are calling or not okay so first we choose uh, debug so that we can check okay debug config is reading or not so let me run okay finally deploy in our emulator okay let's just run yeah so see now i'm getting it should become so see the data is reading now see it is debug mode environment right because we we use we choose the debug mode environment so that is fine run this application and show the data okay now change it to now environment change it to uh development okay so that time our data should come with development environment okay let me run one more time We finally uh, run our application in the emulator and the debugger point should come here and let me check which app config is calling see development configuration is calling right so based on this setting okay based on this uh, tricks actually you can get all the environment you can create many many environment like a stage development production anything it's like you can just create and you can just create a if, if block and you can just specify your connection your app setting file name and that's it for this will work for you know any all the environment means all the platform as well so let me check uh with it to window window machine okay so let me run this is a in the window machine so see this time also i just choose development debug development debug and just run it so that this time also i can get data uh, app data from app dot setting for development environment okay so yeah now it's running and just check it see development config okay so it is perfectly fine it is perfectly working for all the environment okay this is a one code base file and uh, it is a common code for all the environment means all the platform as well so you don't worry about that okay see everything is looking good and that's it okay so that is all for this session and uh, keep watching 
and uh, don't forget to subscribe and you know uh, share and like okay thank you have a nice day